Wait for the ramp, Morty. They love the slow ramp. It really gets their dicks hard when they see this ramp just slowly extending down. All right, so if you're wondering what the hell that was, basically a friend of mine gave me a Rick and Morty figurine out of their loot crate, and I added some of these, and... Shum shum slippity dop! But okay, let's go ahead and go into this build, shall we? As you can see, it's just four simple components, so this will be a pretty simple build if you choose to do it yourself. As you saw, this uh, figurine has enough space on the underside to add all of our components. First one that I added was the button module. This is the interface that allows us to begin playing the uh, audio file that is added. This is a module that I've used in a previous video and will probably use for a number of things in the future. Being able to essentially have a toggle switch that works uh, through several millimeters of material without needing to drill holes is uh, pretty handy in some instances. Especially in ones where you're trying to preserve the uh, aesthetic appeal of your project. As I was eyeballing the placement of the components for this project, most of the soldering took place on the bottom of the figurine itself. I was probably taking a risk with uh, damaging the plastic when I did this, so perhaps avoid this if you do this build yourself. Now let's have a look at what this module is going to be hooked up to. So this is the microcontroller that is running the project, a DigiSpark. You can pick these up on eBay for a couple of dollars. It's going to be handling the input as well as control of the MP3 module that is being used to play the audio file. I decided to solder some solid core wire to the 5 volt and ground pins to serve as power rails for the other components on the project. The USB connector of the DigiSpark itself will be the line in for power, and that will be sticking out of the back of the uh, figurine. A bit of junk in the trunk, if you will. After securing the DigiSpark to the figurine base, I took the wires that I'd soldered to the 5 volt and ground pins and stripped some sections to allow components to connect to the ground and power as needed. After wiring the button module, the power, ground, and the DigiSpark microcontroller, I began placing and gluing down the other components. Now this little poopy pants is hungry. Oh boy, oh my. This is what's leading to death is. Oh, hooey. When placing down the MP3 player module that will be playing the audio clip when triggered, the header pins prove to be a handy place to apply glue to secure the module. We'll be doing our soldering on the top of the pins rather than the bottom. A diagram of the wiring as well as a link to the code will be included. I actually just tweaked some code from a project that looped playback of files on the device rather than play it at a button press, as we're doing here. Uh, this project will be linked as well, of course. My code additions were uh, kind of messy, but I didn't spend any time really uh, making it elegant, so you may wish to redo what I did using the original project's code as a template. The video may end up getting uh, uploaded before I have the code and wiring diagram ready on a GitHub page. Uh, just check back in a couple of days if that's the case, and uh, you should see the links in the description at that time. On the subject of code, there is something with the DigiSpark and this particular project you'll need to keep in mind. It turns out pins P2 and P3 on the DigiSpark are related to USB. So when in a circuit, it may create difficulties when trying to upload code to the microcontroller. 
I found adding a simple tiny switch in between one of those pins resolved this issue so I could disconnect the pin and prevent interference with USB by simply breaking the circuit with the switch. Now I'm not saying this is an ideal setup or even a particularly elegant rig, but for what we're trying to achieve, it's good enough. And for me personally, it does have me more hot and bothered than Larry Nasser at a gymnastics competition. All right, so that's all. Now if you'll excuse me. I'm gonna go take a shit. <laughs> rickandmorty.com I had to I had to do I had to, I had to I had to I had to make a bomb Morty I had to create a bomb What? A bomb? We're gonna drop it down there and oh, get a oh, whole fresh start oh. Morty.